Hi everybody, Kat here. So we are going to be talking about the GTX face paints again. Now this probably looks really familiar because I'm using snippets from my last video in this video just because I want to show you all the amazing colors. If you happen to miss my first video, at least you won't miss seeing all the marvelous colors that she has available to you if you would like to buy these cakes and then make your own split cakes. With all the colors that are available to you, you have the option to make some really pretty split cakes, right? You can customize it the way you want. Or if you just want to take this red or this other red as an example and build a kit to where you had solid colors, you could do that too. But look how big these cakes are. Oh my God, they are so big. And now you can take all of these cakes you can put them in whatever combination that you like, and then you can make your own split cakes. So what I'm gonna be doing in the second part of this video, after we showing you these, is I'm gonna show you how I make some of these customized split cakes. And so if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, so I've already made some colors, but I'm gonna make a few more while I'm with you. So I've pulled the colors that I want, in order to make this particular split cake. So I've got white. I measured out what I already needed in a previous one that will work for this particular case. And I think that this is like a fly tackle fish box or something, I, I don't even know. I got it from eBay uh, or I might've got it from Amazon. I'm not sure about that either. Anyway, I will go back and research where I got it from. But I start off by just cutting what I think I need. Now I've already measured this. I know that this length is going to work and so I have an exacto knife and I'm cutting it and you can see it was really easy to pop open and I'm just going to place it in and then I'm just going to kind of push it down now I will tell you some of these are actually higher than this particular box will hold so you'll see me where I actually have to shave a little bit off and so now I'm going back again and I'm cutting out the yellow and I do have to speed it up just ever so slightly because Talking you to death probably is not the most of what you want to hear. But I'm going to go ahead and put that into the box. And you can see what I'm saying. I mean, it's just so easy. But you can also see where part of that is just too big, right? So I'm just shaving off a small slither. That way when I put it back in, it is even with that white that I just did. So I'm going to put that in there. Just kind of push it back. And then I'm going to pull my next color. So this color, oddly enough, says that it's red, but to me it looks a little bit more of an orangey red. And I wanted kind of that color, right? A little bit of an orangey red. So I'm gonna come in, and the first cut I did really didn't work out. You can kind of see over there it kind of crumbled. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to recut it again. And I think that's just the operator, me. And I'm going to look, I'm gonna see if it fits. And if it, again, is too big, I'm going to go in and I'm going to shave a piece off of it. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that it's actually too high for the particular box. So I'm just going to shave a small piece, put it right back in there. And I know it's, it's really tedious. Just think if we were going in normal motion, me talking to you about this, <laughs> but I've, I've taken it. And again, it's so easy. I know that I'm, I'm probably talking in circles a little bit, but it is so easy to cut these paints and get what you want. Now, with this brown, I'm gonna be putting this brown a little bit to the end, but you see I've already cut a piece out there for a different one, right? So I'm gonna push all of that in, get a nice tight fit, and then I'm gonna to go to the opposite side, and I'm gonna make my cut. Now, please be careful if you're using an X-Acto knife. It is sharp. And you can see I'm putting a little bit of pressure. And if you're not careful and you slip, you could cut your thumb. So just safety in mind, cut away from you and not to you. I have a really bad habit of cutting to me and that's just not the smartest thing to do. All right, so I've got all my colors in here. It looks pretty good. I'm going to take a wet wipe and I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out. I wanna see what it looks like and I'm just gonna put a little bit more pressure on it and kinda, yeah, see, I love that. Don't you love that color? I do. 
I think that will work really well for several things. But I'm going to come back in and I'm going to go back over it one more time. And this is just me. You don't have to do this. I promise you, you don't. But that's just me making sure that I've got everything in there the right way. And then I want to test this out and I want to see what it's going to look like. So here is what it looks like on my arm. And I love that. There's several things that you could use this color combination for. I would think pretty much that maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe sunflowers. Maybe you could also use that too for uh, your calla lilies, maybe. So it's a pretty combination color. I really like it. So as I continue to play with this just a little bit to see if I'm going to get what I want, and that's really not how a calla lily is supposed to look. should have more of a pointed end on it. If you ever want to know how to do beautiful calla lilies, you have to check out my friend, Bianca Hanna. She is really great at beautiful flowers, so check that out. Now, what about a rose petal? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm just thinking, oh my God, that's so gorgeous. Even if you did this type of flower, right? It doesn't matter. It's the combination there. So I'm just going to kind of pull that in and I'm loving it already. So on to the next one. See, I'm babbling and then I've already jumped into the next part of this video. I have these colors here and I, I keep pulling colors and I'm like, do I want to do this color? Do I want to do that color? And it's always just a guess. What do I want to create? So I want to pull in some colors. We're going to do this again. And then I'm going to really speed up the video and then I'm going to stop it in the portions where I think it's going to be important for me to talk about something. So hold tight. Okay, so I've pulled some additional colors out and you know what? I've changed my mind literally about five times. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I just do. And it's even to the point of I don't know which yellow I want to pick for this particular color combination. So as I'm moving along, you can see I do have purple over there to the side. So I already have purple in there. And these tools are really great. They actually come with the paints when you get them. And you will find you will use them a lot actually to lift your paints. Now, another thing I do want to tell you is you can score these paints. And that's what I'm doing right here. Just ever so softly, I'm scoring the paint. And then I go back through and then I actually pop it out just like that. And that I can already tell you is going to be a little bit too too high. You can see that. You can see that it's a little elevated there. So going right back and I'm going to take a slither off. Now if you have a deeper case, it's not going to matter. It's going to be perfect. So again, what's so nice about this is you have the option and the ability to you know, adjust. And that paint, by the way, isn't going to go to waste because even if I have to take that, and put it into a small pot uh, with the rest of the small pieces that I have to do, I can use that for a lot of different things, even practice paint. So don't think that you're wasting anything. Remember, everything can be used. So I'm gonna put that over there and I'm going to push it together and then I'm gonna be adding in the additional colors. We'll speed through that portion of it and then we'll see what it looks like here at the end. So again, I am going to take my wipe, I'm going to press down, I am going to basically pull all the colors in together. And this is just my way of doing it. A lot of people do it all sorts of ways, but I'm just trying to get a sense of the color. So again, just kind of putting that down. I am going to test it, see what it looks like once I pull it all together. And what's the best place to do that on your arm? 
So I love that color combination too. It's really pretty. So whatever you decide, you have to remember being creative is being you and a lot of things that you will design will be unique to who you are and what color combinations you like based on the type of face painting that you do, right? Um, for me, I would probably use this quite a bit in some crowns and flowers. I mean, I think it would make really pretty flowers. These are all of the colors that I made after it was said and done. So I went ahead and swatched it on my arm for you so that you could see. And hopefully this video helped you out a little bit uh, just to understand that these cakes are super easy to do. So I hope this was helpful to you in showing you how I made the split cakes, but these are all the colors that I made that's in this actual case. I'm going to be making some more and customizing. I love my rainbow there at the end. But as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, hit, and subscribe for more videos like this.